Hello, welcome back. Uh, this is uh, part 16 of the video series, uh, Salvation Through Works is Heresy. Uh, let's go to uh, uh, Matthew 7, verses 21 through 23. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name, and in thy name cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works? And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, I've heard um, a lot of people use that verse to uh, try to point out that there are what they call false converts. Now, I think we agree that there certainly are false converts. There are people who say they're Christians and they're not. Uh, and some of them even believe they're Christians, but they're just deceived. Um, and uh, But there's a, a, a group of people that love to point out that, you know, there's false converts and maybe you're one of them. Or, but they, couldn't, they always think it couldn't possibly be talking about them, you know. So what I think is happening in this verse is that all those people who are preaching this false gospel that is called Lordship Salvation. They're saying that, yes, you have to believe in Jesus, but you also have to have Him as your Lord in the respect that you're obeying Him and not sinning anymore. The people who are preaching that message are self-righteous, and uh, they are not trusting Jesus' death on the cross as a full payment for their sins, but they're adding other requirements besides faith. Um, being, uh, following Him, serving Him, uh, uh, not sinning anymore, repenting of all your sins. The list goes on and on, the things they're adding. So to me, this verse is talking about those people. Uh, would you read it again so we can focus on some of the key words? It says, Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in Thy name? And in Thy name have cast out devils. And in Thy name done many wonderful works. And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. All right, so what are they really saying to the Lord in that, that verse as they speak to Him? Um, what are they attempting They're talking to do? about their works. They're boasting about their works. They're, are they trying to justify themselves to the Lord? By their works. By their works. And, and what they're doing here is exactly what Ephesians 2, 8, 9 says not to do. To, Ephesians 2, 8, 9 says, For by grace are you saved through faith, and this not of yourself. It is a gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Mm -hmm. And they're boasting here about their works. And works are insufficient um, for salvation. Um, they're insufficient for being made right with God. Yes, but they're basically they're going to God. And instead of um, pleading the blood and saying, Lord, you're my Savior. Jesus Christ died for my sins. No, they're not pleading the blood. They're not saying, I'm trusting Jesus' death on the cross for my salvation. No, they're going to Him and boasting about their works. They're trying to justify themselves to God, saying, look what I did for you. You're boasting. And also in Galatians, doesn't it say, you, you, who are trying to... Um, justify yourself through the law, through your religious works and your self-righteousness, you are alienated from Christ. You have fallen from grace. And what you said, you are, you are alienated from Christ. You are cut off from Christ. And, and I mean, this is exactly what it says. Jesus will say, um, and then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me. Um, they are cut off from Christ. They are alienated from Christ. Just as Galatians chapter 5, verse 4 says, you can see the continuity of God's Word. You yes. can see that the Holy Spirit is the author of God's Word. It all comes from one source. And what Jesus is saying here, and what um, Paul is saying in Galatians 5, 4, lines up perfectly. So this is what's going to happen to all those people who are trying to justify themselves to God through their religious works, through their repenting of their sins, through their preaching in the streets, through all, whatever the way they think they're going to be getting good standing with God, it's going to fail because 
we're not justified by our works in the eyes of God. We're justified by our faith in Jesus' and atoning death on the cross. Yeah, if you are, are under a work salvation spell, then uh, this is talking about you. Um, this is talking about uh, a true false convert is someone that would try to come to God by his works. That's a false convert. Mm -hmm. But uh, I've met a lot of people that uh, they, they see the false convert as the person that even though they're professing their faith in Jesus as their Savior and they're trusting Jesus for their salvation, they see sin in the person's life and they accuse that person of being a false convert uh, because of the, their sin left in their life. Whereas this verse tells us, no, the false convert is the person who is trying to justify themselves through their works. That's as right. many of you are. And they're the true backsliders from grace. Yes. Okay. All right, uh, we've got one more verse we want to cover, and let's do that in the next video, okay?